Hey guys, how are you doing today? I'm bringing another diecast review from Diecast Plus. Now today we have the 118 scale Sunstar 1970 Charm Spitfire Mark IV. This particular model is in British Racing Green with a black interior. Let's hop right on into the details. Suspension, there is no suspension. It's a cheaper model, so I do understand. Wheels and tires. It does have a re realistic tire. You see the tread, realistic. It is a little bit of rubber, a little bit of plastic. The wheel, the wheel, the rim itself is detailed. Four lug nuts, as you see, and all the holes that go all the way around. Nicely detailed. Now, for the paint and the chrome, the paint has held up well. It is a couple, the model is a couple years old, but it still shines like brand new. Nice paint quality. And the chrome, same story. The gaps are nice. As you see, it is a little bigger here, but it's the same on the other side. And there's a consistent gap in, on the uh, top of the hood. And the doors are the same. Nice gaps. Now for the interior. Interior is relatively detailed, but it is all plastic. Is a little disappointing that it is all plastic, but again, cheaper model. See the flooring, it does have a mat on it, again, plastic. Seats all plastic, but nice detail. As you see, the um, stitch lines on the seat. The dash is all a decal, all one decal, but it's a detailed decal. As you can see, the gauges have all of the numbers on them, radio, everything. And the wood grain looks realistic. Convertible top. It comes only in the top down. does not come with the top up. But it is detailed. As you see the little wrinkles in it. And the bolts that bolt it down. Now here is a disappointing feature about the car. The trunk. The trunk does not open. Which is a little disappointing considering it is a $50 car. I'll get into that later. But Maestos for $25 the trunk opens. So I would expect the trunk to open. Now for the engine. Now the engine is nicely colored and detailed. As you see, the filters are a different color. Fan, on some of the pieces on the firewall, the air filter are all different colors from the engine block. Good color. There's only a little bit of plumbing and wires. That's also a little disappointing. And as you see, there's one or two wires. And the engine block is all one color which would not be true in the real car. And as you see, there's different colors on the back wall. And the hood opens and closes realistically and tightly. As you see, you to move it back, you have to lift up and push back. Otherwise, it doesn't close properly. Now for the undercarriage. The undercarriage is okay it's not bad exhaust is a different color which is nice you do have the mufflers so you see all of the exhaust a little bit of transmission but it, again it's just one color of the entire under carriage you can see a little bit of the engine but it, it is taken up by the chassis so that's understandable overall not bad recommendations and pricing pricing for this car is $50 brand new. Now you can no longer buy British Racing Green brand new. You can only buy black, yellow, and red if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And British Racing Green is the most desirable color of this car and it is now highly collectible in British Racing Green. Not much of the other colors because it is a little British sports car. Who doesn't want it in British Racing Green? So now I've seen prices anywhere from $65 to $85 for this model. It is that is pricey for what you are getting. So if you're looking for a Triumph Spitfire in British Racing Green, I would recommend maybe waiting. Well, that might take a few years. If you don't mind waiting a few years for another one to come out, then go right ahead if you don't care really the color and just want the model get a different color for fifty dollars but um yeah if you really if you really 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 want british racing green 
wait for the best price to come out. I would not pay right away the first car you see. Do your research, find a good price, and do that. Especially because it is a little pricey for what you're getting. Recommendations. I would not recommend this to the, well, no, not to the beginner. Because of the price point, it is double that of a Mesto. If you don't like the, um, the hobby, you don't want to spend that money. Um, the experienced collector, maybe, they really want to triumph. Spitfire, then maybe because it's not up to their detail level of all plastic interior and whatnot. They might want to stick to auto arts and whatnot. But if you're a beginner going and moving up into the collector model and the model collector world, then this is a definite car for you. But otherwise, unless you def if you unless you desperately want to try and Spitfire, I would not recommend it. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in, and tune in next time for another Diecast Review.